Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Eben. If you guys are new to the channel, what we do on Synthetic Oil Protection is we show how to exponentially protect vehicles, engines, transmissions, and differentials two to four times better than using OEM fluids. So if this is your first time here, definitely consider subscribing. You can tap the little red button in the corner or just hit the little subscribe button right here and then you go ahead and tap the notification bell and that way you'll get new notifications when my new video comes up. I know, I know, you're wondering what am I doing with this bottle? Well, you're right, we're doing oil analysis today. Today is a very special day on synthetic oil protection. This is my all-time favorite car for the money. Uh, I've been with this car now for five years. I'm officially married to it, believe it or not. I'm a married to a car. And this is a 2004 C5 Corvette. And uh, this is about the dirtiest you'll see my car. It's a six-speed manual, 24-hour Le Mans edition, commemorating the 2003 24-hour uh, Le Mans win, the GTS class. And uh, well, we're gonna be doing oil analysis today. So we're gonna do a standard motor oil change. We're gonna be doing our 10W30 Signature Series. This is the best of the best motor oil. It's good for one year, 25,000 miles. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna collect our sample in here. And uh, the oil that's in the car is AMS Oil Signature Series, but it's the 5W30. And the only reason why we're stepping up to the 1030 is for higher heat protection out here in Vegas. We don't need the cold weather protection. And also, um, I'm starting to get a pan gasket oil leak. So eventually I'm gonna do the heads on this, all the gaskets, refresh, and some upgrades. Um, haven't got to it yet, so it'll just slow that leak down a little bit with the uh, 10W30 for the cold uh, conditions. And we're gonna first go ahead and collect our sample. And this time what I'm gonna do is instead of draining it into the uh, bucket and then scooping it out, I'm going to put the very first oil that comes out right into this bottle. Because last time I got a lot of flack, everybody goes, well, even, you know, I think you, you controlled it somehow by scooping in the bucket. So the very first sediment that comes out of the drain is gonna go right into this bottle, um, which, you know, we've went very few miles. I'm gonna show you guys how many miles we did right now. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the power. Boom, we're gonna come over here to the glove box and I'm gonna take out my log book. In my log book, I keep everything in here. Um, absolutely everything I do to my car. So from day one, what did I do? My first thing on 1114 was the first thing I did on my car. I got it back with 34th, I got it with 32,000. I did something at 32 when I got it and then I got the logbook. So this is very close to the very first time. All the oil changes are right here. Every date, flushed, radiator coolant changes. And I'm gonna go to the last oil change here. Um, oil changed on 11, 13, 17. So we're on, uh, let's see, 12, 13, 113 so we're about a month and a half over a year so that would be what 13 13 and a half months basically and we did that in 17 we're in and we're at 99 832 all right so the difference uh we were at 88 was the last change uh, 88 98 um 88 98 I can't even do the math right now. I can't even think. All right, so I just did the math. It's 11,200 miles is what we did. And and that was over the course of, uh, what was that? 13, 13 and a half months. So we're gonna be doing the oil analysis right now. We're gonna change the oil on my car and we're gonna be sending it out and I'll show you what the oil analysis kit looks like. All right, so this is the oil analysis kit. You got, of course, the bottle. And then you got this package, it's all nice and rolled up, super easy. And this is Oil Analyzers Inc. is the name of the company. 
and you fill out all this information, super easy. Uh, you just go down how many miles you drove, the viscosity, the name of the oil, shabba ba 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 and then you put it in this sealed package. And once it's in this sealed package, you seal it up, and then you have your return sticker. And this sticker just uh, mails it right to the analysis lab. They email you the results. Just that easy. Let's drain her down. And right before we drain her down, I want you guys to see um, what the oil looks like over the course of uh, the 13 months. I added zero motor oil at all. And I uh, just wanted to show you what it looks like. So I'll just pull it without even wiping it. Just give you the rundown on it. So you can see it's got a little bit of a haze. Looks pretty good. All right, there you go. We're gonna go ahead and drain her down and we're gonna put the, uh, the soot in first so it'll have all the particles. We got our bottle, fresh bottle, and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, slowly drain it in so we get all the soot at the bottom of the pan. This last time I had someone say they thought that I skimmed the top to stay away from the contaminants. So I'm just going to go really slow and not let it come out. And uh, we're just going to drain it in like this. All right, we're going. You guys should be able to see it going in. Nice and slow. Getting a little messy, but what the heck, if it's not fun, it's not messy, right? All right, so we're going to thread it in. That's it. So that's the, uh, that is the sediment, I'm just trying to thread it back in a little, all right, there we go. So that's the sediment at the bottom. So there's all the sediment right there. We're gonna cap it up, right there it is. And there it is, all capped up. That's uh, 13 months, 11,500 miles, no top offs. Um, I drove a lot in very hot weather um, no racetrack stuff. Um, that's pretty much it. 5W30. We'll see how it comes back. And now I'm going to finish draining it so you guys can see that I really did put the, uh, the bottom in. So I'm going to show you how quick it comes out. Watch this. One, two, and three. There it goes. All right. So we're gonna let her go ahead and drain down. There's our drain bolt. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and drop the car so uh, it's level, so it all drains out. And then we're gonna pop off our uh, oil filter, all right? We're gonna go ahead and just pop off our filter here. We got uh, plenty of room to do that. Nice and easy. I don't ever over tighten my filters. Just let her drain down. And that's it. Let me pull that over a little. Like that. Use our towel. And there she is. Alrighty, there's our EA 15K M's oil filter. All right. All right, it's that time to prep our oil filter. And you know, a lot of people say, you know, mechanics, they hate working on their own vehicles. 
Well, I tell you what, I'm not a certified mechanic. I love working on my own vehicle. <laughs> so that probably pretty much holds true. Um, I have a lot of fun with the channel, but I don't have, you know, I don't work on cars and fix them and stuff. I just change fluids. So we got our Amsoil oil filter. This is um, our EA uh, filter, which is good for one year, 15,000 miles. And you can see the filtration percentage. It's good for 98.7% efficiency. So quite a bit of an upgrade over OEM. Comes all nice and wrapped up. And uh, you just crack her out of her seal, just like so. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> Looks good. And what makes this filter different than the other filters is it's a proprietary synthetic medium in here, which uh, filters much higher efficiency and it also flows better. And the anti drain back valve is a big upgrade, which is the rubber, uh, the orange rubber anti drain back valve. And that's made out of silicone, which is very flexible and it lasts the entire year. It doesn't crack and it doesn't deform with heat like a lot of the OEM rubber drain back valves. Also, what makes this different is when it doesn't drain back out, depending on how your filter is mounted, some cars it's on the side. Some cars it's like this, some cars it's like that. It just depends. When it doesn't drain back out on your next cold start, which is usually the next day when you start your car in the morning, since the oil doesn't drain back out of here, you have that added protection uh, so you're not running without oil. So about 80% of all the wear on an engine is usually on the cold start. So we're gonna go ahead and feel her up with our 10W30 Signature Series. This is 100% synthetic motor oil, good for one year, 25,000 miles. And this motor oil outperforms Mobile One Extended Performance by four times in the industry standard turbocharger deposit test. So all the oils are tested um, with heat cycling and they measure the, uh, the viscosity change of the oil, how it breaks down, and how the deposits form, which deposits uh, turn into like a grease. The oil clots up and that's what creates sludge in your engine. It's harder for your engine to circulate, so your, your fuel mileage goes down. Your cold starts are slower and the wear is exponentially faster the more your, your oil breaks down. Also, the volume goes down too. So on a lot of the other oils, you'll see uh, they eat a lot of oil. And as the deposits go around the, the uh, combustion chamber, as they go around the, uh, I'm sorry, the, the rings, you actually lose compression. You have more blow by, more oil burning, less power, less fuel mileage. So by using this, you have better fuel mileage and everything else. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna wet her up. So we go in here with our rubbers, wet our rubbers up. Because as you guys know, the wetter, the better and we uh, get our threads. Just watch yourself in the threads. If you don't have rubbers on, you can cut yourself. So watch just poking the threads in there. So, all right, so that's good to go. And now all we do is thread her up. And um, I always try to prime the filter. Since my filter's mounted straight up and down, I can basically fill it all the way up to the top, which you'll see here. It's boom, that's it, it's up at the top. So that's pretty much it. All right, we thread her on and then we feel her up. As you guys know, I love my crazy tall pours. So what we're doing, we're putting in our 10W30 Signature Series, 100% synthetic motor oil, good for one year, 25,000 miles. It's also good for one year, 15,000 miles of severe service. So if you're doing the most aggressive uh, driving, you're still good for one year, 15,000 miles. Also, check out my video right here. You'll see the little tab on my 20,000 mile Uber Lyft field test. And that's where I did oil analysis on my Honda. But you know what? This is my car. We can get messy. We're doing some crazy tall pours, baby. We got the step ladder. If we make a mess, who cares, right? Uh, six and a half quarts going in. Let's do it. Here we go. We'll start low and slowly warm up.
All right. One quart down, five and a half to go. We're going by feel on this one. We're on number two. Let's do it. This could get a little silly. Start low and bring her up. Whoa, I hit the hood. Whoa. Uh-oh. That was a doozy. <laughs> yeah. That got a little too tall. Well, we found our limits with this hood. It won't go up anymore, so you can see it. That's it. So we're going to have to do some crazy tall pours on another car. We'll have to find a better hood. Okay, we got our dipstick nice and clean. We got our six and a half quarts in. We lost about a quarter quart on the ground. Um, it happens. <laughs> We got tricky. Um, also, I wanted to mention, um, you know, you guys say, you know, our, our AMS oil guy, even, you know, he's got to change his oil at 5,000 miles. And believe it or not, that's actually <laughs> what I used to do when I first got AMS oil. I didn't trust it. Um, I was gun shy. Um, I just thought it was total BS. But uh, I did my oil analysis video, which you'll see at the end on the 2011 Honda Accord 2.4 liter. And I did 20,000 miles, about 800 idling hours, and 10.7 10 months. And that's on one oil change. The only thing I did is change the filter at 10,000 miles, and I added 0.3 quart. And uh, the oil still came back good. So on this, I don't even think it's even close, but we'll find out. I don't know because we went 13, 13 months. So the ethanol in the, in the fuel, which there is ethanol out here, it can start to get to the oil. So um, that's why they recommend that without doing oil analysis. But we're gonna go ahead and um, check our oil. It's all nice and clean. See where we're at. Got our six and a half quarts in. All right, we are smack dab in the middle. Pretty tough to see, it's so clean. But yep, that's pretty much it. All right, six and a half quarts for a C5 Corvette motor oil change. All right. All right, it's that time to put in our PI performance improver. Go ahead and pop the hatch here. And what this is, is this is a proprietary fuel injection cleaner. What it does is uh, cleans the valves, cleans the inside the combustion chamber, also cleans all the ethanol varnish out of the fuel system, and that's in only one treatment. And uh, up to 5.7% better gas mileage, and it's just one finger cleaning. It treats up to 20 gallons, and uh, super easy to do. All you do is come here, shaboo-boo, open it up, and that's it. Just one finger. Gulpa, gulpa, gulpa. All right, we got our six and a half quarts of motor oil in. We're gonna go ahead and fire her up. And I'll let you hear what my all-time favorite car sounds like for the money. This is my all-time favorite. Here we go. Let's start her up. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. So I'll give you guys a little walk around on my favorite car for the money. Let you guys see what it's all about. So you might say, even, even, why do you like this car so much? Why is it your favorite car for the money? Well, we'll start out with, uh, it's America's sports car. Um, I love everything American a lot. Ham's oil is all American. Um, this happens to be a commemorative edition, the 24 hour Le Mans edition, commemorating the, uh, what is it? 2003, 24 hour Le Mans victory, the GTS class. Um, this car gets 32.8 miles a gallon at about 65 miles an hour. I'll say that again. 
This is uh, basically a 400 horsepower car and it gets over 32 miles a gallon. You heard me correctly. It's got a cold air intake on it. The other modification on it is the valve, uh, what is it, the, um, the wires here. These are MSD wires. There's the intake. The other modification on it is the cat back exhaust, which is all stainless steel. It lasts the life of the car, so you don't have to replace it. There's the Borla cat back. That's what it sounds like. The car's got about 100,000 miles on it. Um, basically drives about 15 to 20% better than the day I bought it. So I'll say that again. I got this car with 32,000 miles on it. It now has 100,000 miles and it drives 15% better than the day I bought it. Um, it's got all AMSOIL uh, manual transmission fluid in it. It's got the severe gear rear differential gear lube in it. It's got the motor oil. It's got the radiator coolant. It's got the dominator coolant boost, um, the low toxicity radiator coolant that um, it won't uh, hurt animals and stuff like that, which is good. And then I'm gonna let you guys hear it. So that's what it sounds like there. And I'll give it a little rev for you guys. Let you hear what it sounds like. Turn the lights on for you. All right. So there it is here. And I'll do a little 1500 RPM roll down. One, two, three. So there you go. Um, the throttle response is pretty good on it. Um, it's making probably, I don't know, 380 horsepower, 410 pound-feet of torque. Nothing too crazy, but um, to me it means a lot. Oh, I almost forgot one thing. It's got really good sway bars on it, and what that does is it allows the car to um, handle better. It puts more pressure down on the inside tire, so when you're going around a turn, the inside tire doesn't pick up, and then the rear end breaks loose, so you have a lot more grip with the sway bar. So you're gonna see the Hotchkiss sway bar right there. That's all upgraded. And then it also has the Hotchkiss sway bar in the front. So I'll show you guys that. The Hotchkiss sway bar is right there. This big metal bar right there. That whole metal bar going down. And then you can see Hotchkiss right here in the front. Right there, All right. So what that sway bar does is uh, it just gives you um, a little bit more grip. Also, this has a super, super soft Toyo tire. This is a little bit softer than the Michelin Pilot Sport tire. And that's called the Proxis T1 Sport. And the T1 Sport is super soft. It's a high speed tire, so it's really smooth. And um, that's pretty much it. So now you guys know why I like this car so much. It handles well, it's smooth, it drives good, um, gets great gas mileage. I average about 22, about 22.2 .2 average. So almost 23 miles a gallon um, in the city around here. And of course, our oil analysis bottle. This is the oil. Um, we'll see how it comes back. We're going to ship it out. The follow-up video should be in a few weeks. And, uh, well, really appreciate you guys checking out my YouTube channel. If it's your first time here and you really love this, definitely give it a thumbs up if you enjoy these videos. And um, the subscribe icon's right here. And I'm going to put the link right here to the 20,000-mile Uber lift test that I did on my Honda. You guys will see that. And of course, we will see you guys back next time. And don't forget, we have our um, AMSOIL giveaway on the channel. All you do is share my channel five times on any social media platform. Um, screenshot that you shared it. You can text it to me or you can email it to me. I'll put the link, all my information in the link below. And uh, we will see you guys back next time. Really appreciate you guys being a part of the channel. If you have any questions on this stuff, leave a comment. I will definitely get back to you. All right, we'll see you guys back next time on Synthetic Oil Protection. Really appreciate it. See you guys.